There we go, sir. Right. Yeah. This is all modern technology for you. They'll replace us soon, don't worry. You'll have a little robot before long. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you won't be there at all. If you we'll just be redundant, a... yeah. <laughs> How are things? Carpal tunnel, sweetheart. Right. I can't sleep at night, so okay. I'm getting all through the day as well. Right. Um, I saw Dr. Roberts a long time ago. He gave me an injection, a cortisone injection. Yep. It's all come back now. Okay. So how is it affecting you? I'm dropping things, right. can't pick things up. Ooh, right. Um, I go with my daughters one day a week for yeah. a meal, yeah. and they got a knife and fork for me, big like you know. Yep. Can't cut things right. up. Right. Like, you know? Okay. I lose all sort of feeling in the in the. And thing. is it both hands? Both hands. Yeah. And is it pain? It's a constant. Pins and needles all the time. Right. All down here. At times I get such a pain in yeah. here, it goes up my arm as yeah. well. I don't want to chop it off. If, if I chop him off, I can't chop him off. <laughs> <laughs> and does it go into all the fingers and the thumb? No, or just... no, just this lot here. Yeah. Just have a little look. OK. So any tenderness in the wrist at all? No, no. No, no. OK. And if I bend this back? No problem. It's probably an ageing process, is it? God, are you really 92? I am, sweetheart. You yeah. look fantastic. Oh, thank you. I thought, how old are you? In your 70s? <laughs> Whoa, really? that's fantastic. Cherry Arnold, please. I'm usually impressed if people cycle here. Oh, are you? <laughs> but to cycle here through the rain... Oh, well, it stopped raining. Well, nearly stopped raining. Oh, uh, I was about to be terribly impressed. You should have told me it hadn't stopped raining. No, nearly stopped raining. <laughs> what can I do for you? Um, I've got a sore mark here, and I had treatment for a basal cell carcinoma on my back before, and I want you to have a look at it and see what you think about it. What's the easiest way? Yeah. This here? Yeah. Well, I don't think that's a... I don't think there's anything sinister at all. What it looks like is a fungal infection. How long have you had it? Do you know? When did the last dot? I'm going to say a year or so. But sometimes it's very itchy, which is what happened to the one on my back. Basal cell carcinomas aren't usually as big as this. They're usually raised, and they're also usually sort of one and a half centimetres. It just doesn't look right for that. It doesn't look right. That's no. OK. The reason I think it's, it's fungal is it's flat, yeah. but it's a bit pink at the outside and paler in the middle. Yeah. Right. And that's how they behave. Right. I think the only sensible thing is to give you some cream to put on that, yeah. which is the right thing, if I'm right. And I think it would probably be sensible for you to come back and be seen by somebody. Right, OK. I'd be very surprised if it turned out to be another basal cell complaint. It just doesn't look like it. No, no, that's, that's fine. It's just that it's worth checking up on these things. Oh, oh yes, sure. You look, from, from this, terribly fit and healthy. Yeah, I am terribly fit and healthy. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. All right. OK, fine, thank you. And here's... Oh, uh, this, you know, this is something to... Uh, come here, come here. For some reason, they calculate a frailty score. Oh, right, OK. I think it's because of your age, but for no other reason. I have to answer this question about you. Right, OK. This, this patient is mildly frail. Much worse than that, the patient is severely <laughs> frail. <laughs> we'll say you're not particularly frail at all. I'm not allowed to put in... To put in this is in, a joke. <laughs> yes, yes. If I'm as healthy as this when I get to this patient's yeah, yeah, age, yeah. I shall be doing terribly well. Yeah, Go away. Yeah, no, I'm doing really well. That's fine. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Right, so it sounds like carpal tunnel. When you had those injections before, did it help? It did help, yeah. I don't personally inject carpal tunnel, but some of the other doctors do here, so we could ask one of them to do it. Alternatively, we could refer you to the musculoskeletal clinic to consider surgery. Yeah, but at my age, is it worth the surgery? It depends how much is bothering you. I mean, you seem like a fit 92-year-old, <laughs> and you. the fact it's affecting you eating, that's quite significant, isn't it? Yeah, but if I have that injection, yeah. uh, it might last for a few months, like, you know. It might. And in a few months, I could kill over, couldn't I? Like, <laughs> if I'm going to go up there and some poor soul's waiting for an operation, and needs that table, and I'm taking up the space... If You're I... as entitled to anyone else, though. Well, yeah, but... But you want I, to try I, the injections? I, I feel guilty taking the time. Oh, you shouldn't do that. So why don't we then ask one of the other doctors to give it a try? Mm. But there is the option, OK? And we're not ageist. 
The other thing we could do in the meantime is add a tablet called amitriptyline. OK, because this is a nerve problem. It's compressing one of the nerves going through the, the sheath in the wrist, OK? It would be one at night. They do make you a bit sleepy, but then, because the pain is at night, it might help. Yeah, really. I think it's worth a try. Please. OK? Thank there you. There we go. If you take that to the treatment room mm -hmm. and they'll see if they can book that appointment for Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. But if it doesn't work, come back to me and we'll refer you to the surgeon. Oh. <laughs> Thank I'm you, Doctor. I'm not doing that. Thank you, okay, Doctor. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye.